Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and that is this giant silverfish XP farm. But before we begin, I thought I would do a little bit of explanation for the title of this series. It's been a while since I explained it, and I thought that some of you might have forgotten, or just don't know. So basically, this is in response to Minecraft PG5's two big series, in which he takes redstone contraptions and makes them considerably smaller. This series, on the other hand, does the flip side. It takes redstone contraptions and makes them much larger, but almost as efficient as can be. And this is a good example of that, so let's take a closer look. Now before any of you head down to the comment section smashing up your keyboards with your angry fingers talking about how I copied someone, I know this is not a particularly new concept. In fact, I know that a certain YouTuber did it in his survival let's play around about a year ago and it worked extremely well for him. It provided him with a great source of XP and also a very fun project to work on. And that is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a fun project to work on and this definitely was. And you know what? I am fairly proud of it. The redstone is fairly neat and it will run smoothly. It's quite quick. That area down there fills up with the silverfish blocks very quickly. So let's take a look at it. Now for anyone that hasn't seen one of these before, the concept is really simple. In strongholds you have silverfish spawners and sp silverfish are fairly special because they will try very hard to get into blocks and that is what this runs off. Essentially we have a stone generator here that is generating stone, it does what it says on the tin and it is pushing them over here so that these silverfish, they can get into those blocks. Now when they do, it causes a block update which we detect using a bud switch and then it pushes the block down and forces another block of stone along, meaning that you have a fresh set of stone ready for more silverfish. Eventually you will end up with tons and tons of blocks of the stuff and that is what is going to fill up with here. So then you can start taking out all those blocks and you will have loads of silverfish ready to kill and gather up their XP. Now despite this being a very efficient design and like I mentioned, it is quite fast, unfortunately it still takes quite a long time for the 1728 silverfish blocks to fill into this area. So I am going to go AFK for a while and do a quick jump cut and when we're back we should have a full section. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. Now this is where things begin to get interesting, not that they weren't before, it's just something's about to happen that might confuse quite a lot of people. So here we go. We start taking out these blocks and you can see that they do in fact have silverfish in them. And, you know, we're going to take these out. But here comes the next part. When we throw down this potion, you will see that, well, we get a bit of an infestation. Now if we throw one again, oh wow, things start happening. My FPS is dropping. Oh god. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, isn't that beautiful? I don't know how much you can see here. Oh, it looks like, I don't even know, but that is absolutely mental. We've got 1,728 silverfish trying to be rendered by Minecraft. I have a Hadron Collider of a computer, and it's still struggling. My fan sounds like a jet engine, but man, I would do that again. I am trying my absolute hardest to record here, averaging three or four frames per second. I don't know if Fraps is going to be able to do it, but we have currently got 1,600 entities right here in front of us, and we're just going to throw a splash potion of harming into them, and they are just going to start taking damage. I'm going to throw a couple in just because, oh wow. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! It hasn't loaded any of the XP. I don't know if that's because there's too much of it. I, I can't really tell. But we should have got a ton of... Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> there's so much of it. I can't even reach the lever. Oh, God. Not again. This is just a video. This is a slideshow of a video. I might as well have just done a PowerPoint here. I can't help but feel like I'm fighting a losing battle here. My, my computer is propelling itself across the room with the sheer force being created by my fan and trying to get all of that hot air out of my system before it sets fire to it. It's also making funny noises, so I'm a little bit scared. But as you can see, this is a very efficient way of getting XP if not a little bit mental. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this design. However, there is a world download in the description below that you can check out for yourselves. You can download that and even perform a harvest if you're mental and, 
you don't really care that much for your computer safety. But anyway, that is all for today, ladies and gents. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.